Welcome to KCS at Home, Summer Edition. This is Social Studies, fifth grade. And today's topic is Tennessee's music industry and the three grand divisions. If this video is hard to understand, here are four steps that can help you solve that problem. Hey y'all, I'm Mr. Horton. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Bonnie Kate Elementary School. By the end of our session, you will be able to do these three things. Discuss the role that Tennesseans played in the development of these three major music industries, country music, blues music, and rock and roll. Number two, identify and explain the significance of the Grand Ole Opry, W.C. Handy, B.B. King, Bessie Smith, Elvis Presley, and Stax Records. Number three, compare and contrast the three grand divisions of Tennessee with regards to geography, agriculture, industry, and tourism. If you have online access to Gallopade, or if you happen to have your textbook, we're going to be looking at chapters 33 and 35 today. Now you're probably asking yourself, Mr. Horton, why should I care about these things? Well, music is one of the most important art forms created by humans, and Tennessee has a rich history in the music industry. Three of the most popular forms of music today had their starts right here in the volunteer state. Rock and roll, blues, and country music are still widely popular music today. The music industry, as well as tourism and agriculture, are important to the success of each of Tennessee's three grand divisions. Let's talk about country music. Today, Nashville, Tennessee is known around the world as the country music capital of the world. But did you know that many historians consider East Tennessee the birthplace of country music? That's right. Good old Rocky Top woo, played a big part in the story of country music. Music that started in homes or at church soon found a new home on the radio during the 1920s. The most important radio station in Tennessee during this time was WSM in Nashville. WSM was home to the Grand Old Opry. I've got the blues. The music coming out of West Tennessee had a different sound. Blues music had a mournful or sad sound to it. W.C. Handy was called the father of the blues, and he wrote and released the first commercially successful blues song, Memphis Blues. Bessie Smith was a blues star from Chattanooga, Tennessee. She sang mostly about liberated women. B.B. King moved to Memphis as a young man and made a career playing blues guitar in the clubs on Beale Street. Now, check out this tune by Bessie Smith.
It's only rock and roll, but I like it. Memphis wasn't just the home of the blues. It was the birthplace of rock and roll music. New artists were combining country and blues music and making a brand new music that was sweeping the nation. And no artist was bigger than Elvis Presley. Two of the most influential record labels of the time were Stax Records and Sun Studio, both located in Memphis. Other significant performers included Carl Perkins and Jerry Lee Lewis. Now, here's Elvis Presley with his first single, That's All Right, Mama. Tennessee's three grand divisions. The state of Tennessee is officially divided into three grand divisions, east, middle, and west. Each division has its own distinct differences with regards to geography, agriculture, industry, and tourism. We'll take the next few slides to discuss these items in greater detail. Tennessee's geography and agriculture. East Tennessee is best known for its mountainous geography, specifically the Great Smoky Mountains. But here in Knoxville, we are also affected by the Great Valley region. The Cumberland Plateau is also part of this grand division. With regards to agriculture, East Tennessee is known for its dairy farms. Middle Tennessee's geography also includes the Cumberland Plateau. There are rolling hills and valley streams. The Highland Rim includes hills, ridges, and valleys. The Nashville Basin is a lower area that has rich, fertile farmland. Tobacco is an important crop in Middle Tennessee. West Tennessee's geography is dominated by two great rivers, the Mississippi and the Tennessee. The land is mainly flat and fertile, which makes it good for farming. Soybeans are an important crop in West Tennessee. Tennessee and industry. East Tennessee has lots of businesses and industry to provide jobs for people. The Regal Cinema chain is located in Knoxville. Pet Dairy produces milk and cheese in Clarksville. The Tennessee Valley Authority, better known as TVA, is another important job provider in this part of the state. Middle Tennessee is home to the Nissan car manufacturing plant in Smyrna. And of course, Nashville is home to a global music industry. In West Tennessee, Memphis is home to the headquarters of FedEx, the international shipping company. The Holiday Inn chain is also located in the western part of the state. 
East Tennessee is home to some of the world's most famous tourist attractions. There is the Great Smoky Mountains, Pigeon Forge, and Dollywood. There is also one of America's most popular NASCAR tracks, Bristol Motor Speedway. Middle Tennessee is home to Nashville, the country music capital of the world. You can visit the Grand Old Opry and the Country Music Hall of Fame. West Tennessee is where you will find Graceland, where Elvis Presley lived. Beale Street is for blues and other music lovers. You can also find Sun Studio and Stax Records in Memphis. Okay, so let's take a second and reflect and recall what we talked about today. We talked about how Tennesseans played a significant role in the development of these three major music industries that are still popular today. Country music, blues music, and rock and roll. We talked about some of the significant people and places that were part of that development. The Grand Old Opry, W.C. Handy, B.B. King, Bessie Smith, Elvis Presley, and Stax Records. We also reviewed the three grand divisions of Tennessee. We talked about their geography, agriculture, industry, and tourism. Thanks for reviewing and reflecting with me today. Now, here are your tasks. Refer to pages 179 through 182 in your social studies text, or you could review this presentation again. Use that information to complete the Star Event 5W's graphic organizer. For fun, check out the Brain Pop on Elvis Presley and explore the games and activities that are connected to that video. Also, take a moment and review pages 186 through 189 in your social studies text, or review this presentation again. Use that information to complete the triple Venn diagram and compare and contrast Tennessee's three grand divisions.